Hey everyone, so uh, for this session we're going to be making a spinning sprayer uh, and it's actually a water pump that uses a uh, force that makes water come out of it. So uh, firstly I'm going to go through what we need to do the experiment uh, and then I'll show you guys how to do it. So first, of all, first up we need a straw. Secondly, we're going to need a skewer. We are also going to need some tape. We will also need some scissors. Next thing we need is a marker. We're also going to need a pitcher of water or a bowl of water or a sink. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our straw and our marker. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little mark on the centre of our skewer. Like so, I don't know if you can see that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take two fingers and find the gap to the other side. So we've got central and then two fingers away to one side and then we're going to do the same. Which goes to about... So we should have three dots on our straw. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our skewer, we're going to take our straw, where the central, the little mid mark we made with the marker in the middle, we're going to take the skewer and we're going to push it through. If you have an adult with you that can help you do this one, let them have them do that. If not, just make sure that you are not pushing it towards your hand. You're pushing it away from your hand, like I just did there. You know what I did there? So you should have a skewer with a straw, like that. Okay? Next up for us is... We are going to take our scissors and we're going to cut the straw on our two marks. We are not going to cut all the way through so we're going to be really careful with this. We're going to line ourselves up with our mark that we made and just cut slowly halfway through. We do the same on the opposite side. So we've cut them so that they're almost cut through but they are still connected. Okay so just like that one is as well. Now what we need to do is we need to get our tape. We need to tape the skewer, uh, the straw, sorry, tape the straw to the skewer. So that goes there. I've done that a little bit. A little bit fiddly. I'm going to try and get them as close together as we can. So what we should have is a triangle like that. Um, it doesn't matter if the tape's too untidy or if it's un un neat like that. What we should have is a triangle that we can spin like this. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go to another room uh, where I've got my sink with the water and I'm going to show you, show, show you all how it works. Okay, so as you can see, I'm filling up the sink. Uh, I'm just measuring how far it goes into the straw. Um, it's got to about sort of that level there where it's just above the uh, tape, or quote on where the tape is. So it got to about maybe oh, there in depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up. So you can see it in action and you might even get some uh, water on the lens. There we go. So what we do is we put our, our spinning skewer in here. You see that the water is coming out of the straws there. I don't know if I can get a better angle on it. So yeah, that is a, an experiment that shows us how to make a water pump using a centrifugal force, I believe it's called, centrifugal force. Um, my camera's very wet now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. Uh, have, have fun with the rest of your videos today, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.